Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to be testing out a microphone that I got. In fact, let me show it to you guys. And so we're going to be testing out this, uh, this microphone. Hopefully it was a good investment. I've been wanting to get a microphone for, for quite some time and I just didn't have a real reason to. And finally, when the audio started messing up on my phone through the normal microphone, it kind of just prompted me to go ahead and, and take a chance on getting a microphone. So here we are, we've got one, and uh, this will be a good test of it. And if it works out, then I will continue to use it and that will only help the videos hopefully get better. Um, I also think that I can kind of do a more ASMR type video because I hate having to raise my voice while I do my videos. I'd rather just talk at a normal volume. Uh, so this will help with that. So first off, we're going to start with the tape. We're going to put our tape down to keep this uh, watercolor paper in place. And we're going to get that bad boy down. Two out of four. Put the sun one down here. Put that bad boy down. And one last piece. Perfect. Cool, cool. All right. So today is Sunday. I think it's like the 23rd, 24th. I don't even know the actual date, but. It's the uh, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, so I'm going to try to get this video out before Thanksgiving so it stays relevant. Um, and so the colors that I have, and put my gloves on here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Such a weird noise. Anyway. Uh, so, the colors I have picked out for today are brown, red, orange, and yellow. To me, those are kind of fall colors, you know, representing trees, the changing of leaves, and fire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, pumpkins, and, and cherry pie, and, you know, yellow, for whatever reason. Um, so, those are the colors we're going to be doing. Uh, we will be doing a dabbed painting, and we're going to be using a trowel today. We're going to be using the big boy and seeing if, uh, if we can make a decent painting out of it using such a large object on such a small surface. I've done it before. Sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so we'll see. And in my video where I talked about, you know, can anyone make a Jackson Pollock? One thing I talked about is the surface area of a piece and how using a smaller surface um, for you know a painting it changes the tools you would also use and I find that it's easier to use large tools on a large canvas than it is to use small tools on a small canvas or a small surface it just changes the dynamic of it I can't really explain why it just does but anyway we'll go ahead and start putting our paint on the paper and we'll you know we'll get to it so we're gonna start with our brown and then we'll just kind of move our way up Normally I'll you know try to do light to dark. I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna just gonna enjoy it. Now one thing I wanted to say about kind of this time of year is that a lot of times, you know, Thanksgiving or towards the end of the year, it can be a really stressful time. It's funny because a lot of people love this time of year because you know it's festive and you know you get to decorate and, and sometimes it brings family together. But ironically it's also the most stressful time for the same reasons. Um, you know, you feel the need to decorate because everybody else is decorating or because it's expected of you, or you feel stressed out because of family, right? Maybe you're seeing family that you haven't seen in a while, or if you're hosting, you know, you feel that pressure to have everything perfect. Um, or maybe it's just the stress of having to meet demands, you know, it's the end of the year for your work or for, you know, there's a lot of events coming up because it's the end of the year or 
you know, because you have family coming and things like that, you have to do a lot of things around the house or, you know, you just have to finish up a lot of things for the end of the year because it's the end of the year. There's just, you know, there tends to be a lot of pressure at this time of the year. And it's unfortunate because I think that, you know, it should be about, you know, spending time with people. It should be about, you know, wrapping things up and, and having that time where you can celebrate the different um, events in history that you celebrate. You know, if you're, if you celebrate Christmas or you know, Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or anything like that, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, if you celebrate those events, it should be about celebrating those things with people and about the event and, and enjoying that time. But a lot of times I find that, you know, it's just a very stressful time for a lot of people. And the thing about stress and, and worry and anxiety and all of these different things is that they are real things that we face, you know, and I used to kind of think that a lot of that stuff was was in your head. But I, I know that it is a real thing that a lot of people deal with. I, I deal with that myself. But uh, one thing I've kind of realized is that a lot of the, the stress and the frustration and the worry and the anxiety and all that stuff, a lot of that is self-induced. You know, we, we kind of tend to overthink the things that are going on around us um, and we we kind of give those things power um, over us even though they don't deserve to have power over us if that makes sense right like we tend to overthink that you know if we're hosting for Thanksgiving we we tend to think that you know we have to do everything perfect and you know nothing can be wrong nothing can be out of place things like that but the truth is is that it's not going to be perfect and to expect it to be perfect is just kind of a uh, it's like a false belief that we tend to have where you know we think that nothing can go wrong but the truth is is that life isn't perfect nothing in life is perfect and things do go wrong and uh, you know if it's you know if you're stressed out thinking about people well you can't really allow other people to dictate how you feel, how you think, you know, what, how your life is going. So you kind of have to just take a lot of the stuff that's happening, you know, especially at this time of year, with a grain of salt. You know, really, it's, it's, it shouldn't be about that stuff. And here's the sad part. It's going to happen, okay? You just kind of have to expect that, you know, you're going to see people that you don't want to see and you're going to you know, experience events that you don't want to experience. You're going to be around people you don't want to be around or, you know, people are going to act a certain way because people are people and unfortunately a lot of them are just broken. All, a lot of us are broken in some way and we're, we're all kind of dealing with it. And I think that that's kind of an important thing to remember is that everybody's dealing with something and it's easy to kind of get caught up in, in seeing those faults in people and, and forgetting that you know, those people are dealing with things and just as you're dealing with things. So what I would challenge you to do this, you know, this holiday season is just to remember that everybody's dealing with something. And if, you know, if they frustrate you or they anger you or, you know, they, they take something out on you because they're also stressed, just remember that they're probably dealing with the same things you're dealing with just in a different way. You know, we're all dealing with something that's that's just life. Life is never life never lets up. I mean, I don't know a single person that doesn't deal with some kind of stress or some kind of uh, issue all the time, you know, just kind of comes with living, right? <laughs> so, you know, that's just part of how it is. And, and unfortunately, this is kind of something we have to deal with. So, you know, if you're, if you're worried about that or you have a lot of things going on for the holidays and you know, especially Thanksgiving where you think, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you for whatever, whatever reason to, you know, do things a certain way or, or to have things a certain way. Listen, nobody else's opinion of how you live your life really matters. You know, maybe some close people like a spouse or, you know, maybe a parent or something. It might be very important that you get their input if, if it's good advice, but you can't live your life according to other people's standards or, or else you'll both always be disappointed. It's just kind of the way that it goes. So it is what it is. Um, but this painting is done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my gloves off and show you guys it. That's going to be interesting because there's like a little transmitter 
in the phone, so I'm going to have to hold that while I hold the phone, so I'm going to have to get used to that. But as long as the audio turns out okay, I think we'll be all right. So always the glare is not my friend, but that is the final piece, and we'll do some kind of close-ups here. So there is the, uh, the orange and the yellow with some of the brown kind of coming through. Uh, the piece is okay. I actually don't know if I like the uh, the color combination here. Man, I, I gotta find something to kind of block that glare. I'll, I'll find something, guys. I'll make this better, I promise. Always trying to improve this for you guys. But anyway, that's, that's the final piece. It's a little bit more of a close-up. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of say that, that it's not really about anybody else's expectations or life or or anything like that, okay? You just have to understand that it, at the end of the day, life is tough. Life will always, you know, try to knock you down. And you just have to kind of roll with the punches and, and accept that we're gonna go through those phases where some days are just better than others. And, you know, this might be a stressful time, but you can't let it get to you because you are greater than your circumstances. And that's all that matters, okay? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. See you later.